<laughs> Thank you. My niece made these for me. Made them? Ooh. Yes. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> Congratulations, young lady. Thank you so very much. First of all, I'll clear up something. You didn't play in an all-male league. No, it wasn't an all-male league. Yeah. It was a league pretty much like the NBA where they had women. The, their male teams had women teams. Gotcha. So I played with the women. Congratulations. Thank you. You get the call and you think, what? That you're going into this. Hmm. <laughs> Getting the call, I, it was... Um, I was shocked. I was really shocked because I thought my my career, it was done. Once I left the school, I thought it was over. And then the, the storm happened and they told us all of the memorabilia, everything was gone. And the wall that we had going into our locker room, that was damaged. That was, that was all we had. So I, I, I just thought I was a, a person that went to UNO. How did you end up at UNO? Because you're a Floridian, and you know, I mean, you could have gone to Florida State. Yes. Could have gone to Florida. Yes. Why UNO? It was close enough for my family to get to outside of Florida. <laughs> okay. And I was heavily recruited by Old Dominion. And my parents said... Which, by the way, at that time, that meant a little bit more than it, it does now. <laughs> it did. It did. And my parents said, oh, no, that's too far to drive. You have to get closer so we can get to your game. So I chose UNO. Best part of the game. Well, okay. Watching you play and covering you, you know, my favorite part was you blocking shots. I think he had 492 or whatever for career. I think that's what I saw there. You know. Look like you enjoyed that. I did. <laughs> <laughs> that was my favorite part as well. Uh -huh. I wasn't really aware of the points scored. I was more of a defensive player. So I thought that was all that I had to do was defense. And I did it well. <laughs> Yes, you did. <laughs> At that time, the time you were there, four years, uh, UNO women won like 82 games, so that's more than 20 a season. Yes. Uh, average. And you went to the NCAA tournament. Yes. You won 25 games twice. Uh, just talk about that time. I mean, it's part of the reason that you're here is because of that success, and that success was largely because of you. I wasn't aware of that, but we had a really good team, and they taught this spoiled brat who came from Tampa how to get get out of her, her head, how to get out of herself and just play the game, and that's, that's what I did. I, I didn't want to let my team down. So I did, you know, I learned from what they were telling me. Any particular people you want to acknowledge on this evening oh my for getting gosh. here? Well, like Mr. Henderson here, 300 or so, and you said we don't have time for 300 <laughs> or so, which is okay, but there's just, there's so, so very many. My parents, my sisters, my friends, my teammates, my coaching staff, everybody. You guys, you guys for broadcasting us because, you know, women's basketball, women's sports seems to kind of take a back seat when there's men's sports around and you guys, you guys kept us in the limelight. Mm -hmm. She was absolutely one of the best, maybe the best college basketball player we've had around here in a lot of ways, some people think. Newest member of the Great New Orleans Sports Hall of Fame from the University of New Orleans. Congratulations. I'm so glad you're in this Carvey Upshaw. Thank you so much. <laughs>